What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with another ranking style video. We are back with My Damn Thoughts and today we are covering WWE Elite Series 102. I thought today would be a surgery day, but some things came up where I wasn't able to finesse it. So we're going to retry it for middle of the week, possibly tomorrow. I guess it'll just depend on the schedule. But I figured today would be a good day for ranking WWE Elite Series 102. Get all my thoughts out on this series and just break down the set, of course. But if you guys don't know what My Damn Thoughts is, basically just an episode series here on the channel where we take a group or a series of WWE figures, AEW figures, we break down the set, I give you all my different details and thoughts, analysis on the set, we break down a few different categories, and then at the end, we do rank the set from worst to best, in my own personal opinion. So, with all those things being said, let's go ahead and dive into my damn thoughts and start off with my first thoughts on this wave, and my first thoughts on this wave are that I liked it. I think overall, it's a really good set. I think that you have a lot of cool picks here, a lot of current talent, I mean, you literally have five people in this set that are on TV a lot and around WWE a lot. I mean, look at it right here, man. You have four champions in this set. You have the current tag champion, the Intercontinental Champion, the SmackDown Women's Champion, and the United States Champion. Have we ever seen that in a single set? I don't know. I think the timing of this set is really damn good. And then if you look at Elite 101, that was also a really good set as far as timing is concerned. So they're doing a really good job. And then next wave, you have the Street Profits, Bobby Lashley, Liv Morgan, Roman Reigns, and another Cody Rhodes slash Stardust. So they're doing doing a really good job on their selections for these picks. So, with that being said, I did like this set. I think overall, out of 10, the set probably gets about an 8 out of 10. I think that there's, again, it's a lot of good quality here that I really enjoy. So, let's move on to the shelf warmer in the set. Now, this one was really odd for me because I feel like a lot of these figures are going to be sought after. You know, you don't really see edge figures on the pegs. You don't, I, did, I don't remember seeing the theory figure a lot. Gunther is probably going to be one of those that's up there. Sami Zayn is highly sought after right now. Rhea Rip Ripley's the current champion and probably one of the most over women in the entire company. And then you have a flashback Foley, and flashback figures usually go first, depending on who it is. And so, all those things considered, I think I went with Rhea Ripley and Mick Foley as the toss-ups to be the shelf warmers in the set. You may not have a shelf warmer in this set, you know what I mean? We may have a situation where there's no shelf warmers, but I think this one's completely up in the air. It's not going to be easy to find one that just rots on the pegs, but I think if I had to pick one, it would be one of these two. Not to say these aren't good in their own right, I'm just go, you know, I'm speaking for past experiences, women's figures don't sell as great, even though Rhea Ripley's an amazing talent, she's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, women's wrestler currently, her figure is fantastic, and I could see her flying off shelves, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see about that, but the hottest figure in the set, I think is... I don't know if it's easy, but I think it's going to be the Gunther figure. Gunther Elite 102 is going to be the hottest figure in the set. The reason I say this is because uh, the ringside exclusive was the first time, so this is our first time seeing him in the main Elite line. We recently got a theory. We've seen a lot of edges. We've seen Rhea before. Not the greatest version of Mick Foley ever. Sami Zayn is obviously going to be really sought after as well, but we, did, we didn't get him not too long ago, you know, so I don't know. And plus, the head sculpt's a bit wacky. I don't know. I think Elite 102 Gunther, this new torso, he doesn't come with a champion. I just threw that on there, but you have the cloth goods. He is an Intercontinental Champion. A lot of people are going to want the Gunther figure. So I went with Gunther as the hottest figure in the set when it comes to Elite Series 102. Now, we get into the Chase figure in the set. If you guys were unaware, it is going to be Austin Theory. Now, Austin Theory is the Chase in the set. You have the Captain America gear here, which is really clean. I love this gear. I think it looks really awesome. But the Chase version is actually the silver and black, which is a really good contrast to this. And I actually like the regular version better because I, I, I like Captain America. I like comics and Marvel and all those things. So the Captain America gear is pretty damn sweet. However, the black and silver gear isn't bad either. I think it's a good contrast to this and I like that you know you could get that figure pop a different head sculpt on there and you basically have two figures in one there so you could have you know from the same set so that's really awesome I like when they include interchangeable heads I wasn't the biggest fan of his interchangeable heads but I digress he is the chase in the set and I like I like the chase I, it's not the most exciting figure ever but it is cool to have a chase theory and now we have three different elite theories in our collections getting into the best head sculpt this one may shock some people I thought this set had a lot of weird head sculpts we did have some reuse there are some decent head sculpts sculpts here, but at the end of the day, I actually went with Mick Foley, or Commissioner Foley here. I just think this likeness is crazy good. It was down to him and Gunther, and you could probably give it to Gunther as well, but I like that they captured his ear. They got, like, all the likenesses here. 
I think they did a really good job of capturing him. This is my favorite head sculpt from the set as far as likeness is concerned. The Rhea Ripley was reused. Gunther's was pretty good. If you wanted to put that one as the best, I'd understand it. Edges is very similar to the Elite 83. It's not a bad head sculpt. It's just not my favorite. Theories were not going to win, and Sami Zayn was not going to win. So Foley had a really strong case here. He pushed to the top, and he walked away with the best head sculpt in my personal opinion. Damn. All right. Getting into the figure that feels the best in the hand or the best articulation. This one was kind of difficult as well, but at the end of the day, it actually is going to go to the Theory figure. The Theory figure was really damn clean, man. If you have his figure, you know how good it poses around. He's on ball joints. He feels really quality in the hand, and he poses around the best out of this set. You know, you have a Rhea, a Rhea Ripley figure. Women's figures don't typically pose around the best. Foley has some weird stuff going on with him. Edge's formula is never great for posing, to be honest with you. He's not on ball joints. He's got some stiffness. He's got the Daniel Bryan torso. Sami Zayn isn't bad, but it's still kind of bulky in the legs when you get into the crotch piece and stuff like that. And the Gunther figure does pose around really well, but the theory feels the best in my hand, and it is the probably the most quality poser in the entire set. So he is going to walk away with our champion of the articulation in this set. And that is, I, I could sleep at night with that. I don't have a problem with that. So Theory is the best articulation wise in the entire set. Now we go on the flip side of that, which would be the worst articulation in the set. And this one's going to be Mick Foley, man. This Mick Foley figure is just, uh, it, it has this big torso on it, which doesn't really pain me, but he has these old sweatpants legs that get really loose, and he has the John Cena feet on here that are really, really old that make him want to fall flat on his face, and I just, I don't like posing this around. I don't like posing around this sweatpants mold, so that is going to be my worst articulation. You can probably give it a Rhea Ripley too, but I think the Rhea is more fun to pose around than this. I just hate these John Cena feet. I can't stand them. I would, they, like, gotta get rid of them, man. Gotta get rid of those. That is something that I hope we are rid of in 2023. In 2024, I want to see better shoe molds for John Cena and other guys. So we that, that remains to be seen. But uh, I tried to give you some credit, Rhea, and you fall flat on your face. So, Foley is the worst articulation. Now, getting into the best accessory in this set, there's a couple things you can go with. And the first one is going to be the Gunther. The first one's going to be the Gunther coat, man. It is just a cloth goods jacket, but it is really quality. I wish that it had, I said this in the review, I wish it was the Undertaker Legends feel. Like that felty style material or that really like thick material material it would have worked a whole lot better i think it would have been really cool to see that kind of coat from the legends undertaker in red would have really fit well on this on this gunther figure they just went with the standard cloth we've seen a hundred times however i still like it a lot i think it works really well and i'd say it's the best accessory i also like the foley flannel and we have a really cool bonus accessory which is going to be the Elite 102 Sami Zayn Mousetrap Accessory, which is very unique. I like it a lot. I kind of wish it had a little bit more operation. I hate that, you know, you can't, like, slam people. I, I can't pull it back and it slam on them, but I understand it with, like, kids, and you don't want people to, like, smash their fingers or get lawsuits or stuff like that. So I get it, but the Mousetrap was a really sweet accessory, and I'm glad it was included, and I think it makes for a fun time. So the Mousetrap Accessory, I definitely wanted to give an honorable mention to, but at the end of the day, I, I do love cloth goods, and stuff like that. So I went with the Gunther jacket as the best accessory. Now it is time for us to take these figures, get them the hell out of the way, and rank this set from worst to best. Now you guys know how the rankings work. If you don't know how the rankings work, pretty much just because a figure comes in at the bottom of the ranking doesn't mean that I don't like anything about the figure whatsoever. And just because a figure wins the ranking and is deemed as the best figure in WWE Elite Series 102 does not mean that it is perfect and that it doesn't have anything about it that I don't like or wouldn't change. So with all those things being said, man, let's dive into my ranking of Elite Series 102 and give you my personal rankings from worst to best of this set. Now coming in at the bottom of the ranking, pretty tough to be honest to rank this entire set. I thought this set was really awesome top to bottom. However, coming at the bottom is going to be the Elite 102 Mick Foley. The Mick Foley figure isn't bad. I just don't like the articulation or the body molds that they went with here. I don't like that they painted on his torso. And I just think they could have done some better things with this figure, so I'm going to put him at the bottom. Solid entry, great head sculpt. Think it was needed for the collection, but not one that I was but not one that I was overly excited about. And I forgot to give you guys the criteria for the ranking. So excitement level for the figure, how it poses in hand, head sculpt, accessories, need, posability, details. Does it look like the character 
character that's portrayed on my television. Lots of different things that come into lots of things that come into account when ranking the set. But coming in at number five, this one might shock you, but it's going to be the Elite 102 Sami Zayn. Now I love Sami Zayn. I think he's fantastic. I've always been a big fan of Sami Zayn. I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt, and I just think that the figure is it's a it's basically a repaint of his Elite 91. And while I love Sami Zayn. I'm glad we have an updated one. I just, I don't know. I, I just like the other figures in the set better, and I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt. And this is a really good figure, and I don't, this is just a little, uh, little side piece to put in there. I don't like that they make his boots taller, depending on his formula. Like, I wish they would keep one boot mold across the board, but that's just something I wanted to say. Sami Zayn comes in at number five. Coming in at number four is going to be Rhea Ripley. Now, I love Rhea Ripley. I think this figure's great, but at the same time, I feel like her legs are pretty stiff. I think that that I would have liked to seen a different gear. I just don't like this gear. I'm in the process of trying to make a new formula for her. You guys will probably see it on surgery. I don't like this gear particularly. I'd like to see all her tattoos. So we're going to play around with that. I'm going to see if I can make my own version of Rhea Ripley, but I still like Rhea Ripley a lot. I like this figure. I wish they'd make her more broad, but I overall like this figure more than these two and would want this figure over those, so I went with that. Coming in at number three is going to be the Edge figure. Now, I'm a big Edge fan. I always loved Edge. Except when I was a kid, I he made me cry on multiple instances. But I don't like that the purples are inconsistent here, but I do overall like the figure. I like the head sculpt. I wish they wouldn't give him the Daniel Bryan torso, but Edge's figures are really fun to collect. I just, oh man. This figure could have been so much better, and it probably would have been number one had they fixed some stuff, but because they didn't fix those things, they didn't uh, nail it to a T. He is going to be at number three, which is really good for him. And then coming down to the number two and number one figures, I'm going to go with Austin Theory at the number two spot, and that means that number one one is none other than Gunther or Gunther, and that uh, I could sleep at night all day with that. I think that the Theory figure is really good. I just didn't like the head sculpts, and I'm not even a big Theory fan, but it's an awesome action figure. Feels good in the hand, poses around well, great gear, great accessories. Wasn't a fan of the head sculpts. Even if he had a good head sculpt, I don't think it would beat the Gunther figure, though. The Gunther figure is a perfect formula. They updated him to a T. Head sculpt looks great, great entrance gear. I'm a bigger Gunther fan than Austin Theory fan, so it just kind of works that way. I think the Gunther figure is the best figure in the set, and it's my favorite figure in the set, and I think a lot of people are probably going to agree with that, but I want to know what your rankings are down in the comment section below, man. What do you guys feel? Are you there with me? Which ones do you like? Which ones do you hate? I'd love to know all those things down in the comment section below, man, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your ranking and thoughts on this set down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, huge shout out to the patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate you guys so very much. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron, definitely check out the links in the description below for all those different things. Pro Wrestling Tees.com. Merch links down in the comment section below as well. Definitely get in on that if you guys are interested. I'd greatly appreciate the support. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you in the next one. We'll never back down. We will not relent.